Chantel wow. Ang, welcome Woo. to our show! Yay. Wow! <laughs> a media cop kiss seems real now. Wow, the netizens were so mean. I was very scared. So actually after that, I didn't act for quite a long time. What is it like going out with celebrity parents? Maybe like, I cannot say who's like <laughs> <laughs> What do Singaporeans really think about Mediacorp Star Awards? This is your daily catch up. So Star Awards is right around the corner and we have a very special guest with us here today. After winning the Best Newcomer Award in 2018, Damn. she went on to star in more than 20 TV series and films, winning numerous awards along the way, including favourite female character for her role in 2021's Most Watched Media Corp Program. My wow. star bride. Chantel wow. Ang, welcome Woo. to the show! Dun, 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 you, are, na, na. you are still a baby? What do you mean you've done 20 shows? I'm equally surprised. <laughs> So speaking of Star Awards, you've actually been nominated for three awards this year. Mm. And we heard that you're actually offering lunch dates for your top five supporters. Yay. Wow! <laughs> How will you know who is your top five? Also, like my fan, they will send like their votes to my fan club and then they, they will just consolidate. The, oh, yeah. buck and bluff what? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you can! Don't put it out there! Yeah, 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 I did every day oh. for Back in the day, you are pretty much guaranteed a win if you are in mm. the biggest show of the year, right? Mm. But nowadays, you really have to go on social media, mm. you have to campaign and all that, right? Yeah. Has it really gotten a lot more competitive? And is it not weird? <laughs> I think it's okay. I'm quite shameless to begin with anyway. So like, please vote for me. <laughs> 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 you just got me how to watch account. How to vote? You just have to sign up. It's very easy. And then every day you can vote 10 times with each wow. account. Yeah, yeah let's I, go, I let's go. I sold my votes to James C.I.D. <laughs> hey, wait, yeah. can you okay, vote argue, for like guys 10%. and girls? So oh, like, is it guys 10, girls oh, 10? Yeah, guys 10 votes and then like oh. girls 10 votes. So when you're locked hey, in no already. Excuses, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Come okay, on, okay, let's okay. go. Okay, okay. <laughs> so if she don't win, it's your fault. <laughs> My 10 votes, <laughs> then, then we go the last day. <laughs> so essentially it's like a watch show season in Singapore right now, right? Mm -hmm. Is it very stressful, this period of time? Actually it is, just because like I'm in production and you know, I'm currently in this show called Yu Shui Chong Sheng, Hope Afloat. Okay. And actually my character is inspired by our our. Paralympian Yip Pin Show. Ooh, yeah. which was on this Hello. show a few months ago. And then like she also made a cameo for our mm. our show and it's gonna air somewhere in July. So I'm just very excited for that. And then right after we wrap, I'm gonna start like the Little Nyo Nya. Oh yes, congrats on that. Yes, it's, it's like very exciting news, but then also at the same time, it means like my whole year is like gone act, right. like acting and How working. How long is the Little Nyo Nya? No, I think it's gonna be six months because it's 30 Ooh. episodes. So. That's quite long eh. Yeah. Yeah, and we have to be overseas, like, you know, for the- Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia oh, and all that, right. yeah. Okay, also that, that, that was my question. <laughs> I was just wondering, because like the set is so elaborate, all that stuff, is there yeah. like some big giant warehouse in Singapore where sets are built? I have no idea because this is my first show where it's like back in the 60s. Right, oh. a period because, scene. Yeah, yeah, the period scene. Because I feel like Mediacorp, back in those days, they did a lot of it. But recently, especially during my mm. time, it's just very modern dramas. Mm -hmm. So true. this is my first time. I'm very excited to experience that, yeah. Right. Do you not feel like a bit scared scared? Right? It's just pure excitement for you. Uh. I remember like when I was really, not really young, la, like when I first started and I had this scene where I had to like knock on the door and I'm basically like Calafé and just say like lunch is here and I was so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> this was your very first one, is it? The 20 no, that's not the first no, one. No. But not the cafe one. Yeah, so then it was like my, one of the bigger roles, not really bigger roles, like I had a name, okay? And then, <laughs> <laughs> so now oh, I so many tears yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Name. <laughs> Like I'm no longer Lu Ren A. Yeah, oh. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, or like Mei Nui B. Hey. Yeah. Mei Nui B. So, so I, had, I had a name, it was Zhe Zai Si Fang. I'm like the assistant and there were, like in the room, Zoe Tay, I think Chen Hang Wei, Rui An, they were all there, okay? Wow. And the I'll be so nervous. nervous. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like the assistant, I had to say, Fan Lai Le. And then uh. be out, when I was outside the room, I was like, Fan Lai Le, Fan Lai Le. Fan Lai Le. <laughs> okay, so I just go and knock on the door, open and say, Fan Lai Le. <laughs> you know, like, it yeah. was yeah, very yeah. scary then. And how many yeah. takes you took for Fan Lai Le? Mei Yong Angie Tao la. I mean, we got fat lah, lah, and Jesus is like, you can't hold, right? Uh, that's true. They should watch me, man. Watch me from this. <laughs> I, I heard last time, right? I don't know whether it's the case now. A lot of the media cop dramas, because your the team has to be rather lean, ma, because they are constantly mm. shooting multiple dramas, right? Yeah. Is that there's pretty much one camera per scene for a drama, so mm. multiple angles, you just have to go again and again. Is this still true? Yeah, so back in the day, right, when I was watching my mother um, film, they mm. were in the studio and they had 
something like this setup, right? Like three cameras mm. rolling at the same mm. time. And then the director will be like cutting to the right camera at the right time. Mm. But then now we are mostly filming outdoors. It's no longer in a studio setting. Mainly one camera. But if that day like it requires a lot of people, then there will be two. Right. Yeah. Mm. So the one camera stuff, a bit stress on, right? I remember last time I saw Mediacorp <laughs> artists, right? I, I think I was just somewhere. Uh, then they were filming some part at the roadside. Uh. So I was just watching them film. Then they had to do the same thing. Then the cameraman just run to the other side, right? <laughs> then they film again. Then after that, we really stopped and watched because uh, it's my first time seeing like uh, yeah. drama filming, right? And then when they in between scene, right? Then the two actors, they just open umbrella. Then they just sit at the club like that. How is it? There's no resting area. Oh, that feels like a story no, of my it's life. Like the oh, line. she said story of her life. <laughs> yeah. No, so there was this time, right? Aiden and I. Do you guys know Aiden Sung? Yes. So he used to work in the tech industry, and then I studied information systems. So I yeah. was also oh. planning to go into the tech industry. Mm. And then there was this scene. We were. It was just a car accident scene, and we had to be lying in the middle of the road in the middle of the day, like 12 p.m., super hot oh. sun, mm. and just like pretend like we got knocked down by a car. Yeah. So then I was just lying on the floor and he was lying beside me and I just turned to him like, <laughs> Where did we go Where did we wrong? Go wrong? Yeah. Yes. And then he turned to me, he had the most hilarious <laughs> response. He said, <laughs> what does it mean? That means like one step wrong, all the steps following oh. it would be also wrong. <laughs> Ayo. No, like it's just it's just a very funny joke, okay? Right. But I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy my time here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was saying that this is her first ever podcast, you guys. Like, what do you think is like the hardest thing about filming? Like, you know, like I got see like when people roll, then you have to cry. Oh, then yeah. they say NG, right? Then you have to cry again. Yeah. Oh. That kind of thing. Like, but you know, crying is not really a problem for me. Eh? Cause well, I, you can just cry like that. I really like to cry. <laughs> Natural cry, baby. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm not going to ask you to do it, but let's see. <laughs> if you're going to cry now, what, what will you do? Like what? You just can cry now? No, I really, I, I, it really depends on the script. Mm. Because sometimes like when you are in that scenario and yeah. you would really be convinced that this is something that's happening to you, you would be naturally very moved by what's right. going on. But uh, also that yeah. there's for like cameraman and then director and then sound and light. Yeah. So is that, but that does not affect you. You zone it out. My time to shine. Oh, <laughs> no, the better not. You think you are like a bit like meta actor? Yeah, actually I think so. Because like my mother told me that, you know, I, I shouldn't bring my characters home. Oh. But that's what I tend to do. So I'm currently <laughs> like a very happy person because my current role inspired by Pinsio is a very oh. happy girl. I can tell. Oh. Yeah. But then like <laughs> when I'm acting Nyo Nya, just have me here again, it's I think. I'll oh. <laughs> <laughs> she don't answer anything we say. Then she said it's the worst podcast ever. <laughs> So what happens, like you receive a script, right? Actually, can you just go down to the basic? Actually, what happens? Uh? Basically, your manager will inform you that, okay, you've been selected to go for an audition. Okay. And you you will probably have like one Let week, me, sometimes how less. How do we even get to that stage manager? How to get selected huh. to go for the audition? Are you like somewhere fighting for her that kind? We have to fight up sometimes. Oh. I see. Okay, okay, Like okay. they will send your real then yeah. they were shortlist. The audition is like this one. Uh. Yeah. Some executives at a the table, then, yes. then you yeah. just stand there and just- Yeah, you just stand there and then you're upset at something like that. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so actually auditions, they really scare me. Because it's so different. Like on set, everyone is like getting in the mood, right? And yeah. then like the set won't be like quiet. But when you go for an audition, to me, it feels like they are going to judge if you are a good fit. Yeah. And I think that really like is very scary. Mm. But their yeah. face like cannot, it's poker face. Right? Yeah, you it's you poker face. Tell. Like they just yeah. sit there, look at you, then they, okay, go like that. Yeah, and they try not to like show you too much. Like maybe they will say like, oh, can you do that again? But maybe like a bit more of this, a bit less of that. Mm. Right. Usually then, when they ask that, right, <laughs> is the audition going well or is it not going well? I think it really depends on how you um manage to take in their instructions. Mm. Right. Because like, if the second take is exactly the same as the first, then it's pretty telling, right? You can't really oh. like, yeah, yeah. So then I really try to like, go according to what they're asking for and try to catch their vibe. Yeah. Yeah. But you are on media called payroll. Wa. Yeah. So like, if they don't cuss you, then you do what? Then they want to pay you do nothing, man. So actually it's a bet like TCA takes on whether like this artist will have roles or not. But then the decision's up to the executive producers. Oh, You know? Yeah. I so I think it's very important to continuously be involved in dramas and continuously be selected. Right. As, yeah. So there are artists out there that, for example, has been signed and yeah. then went on one drama and then just 
lose their auditions all the way. Yeah, I, I, I unfortunately think that is. Oh, and so shit. that's why I feel like being an actress, right? It's really it depends on so many different factors. It's not just like whether you're hardworking or whether mm. you're like the best looking. Like mm. sometimes it's also luck and talent and like mm, whether right. you are the right fit for the yeah. role, whether there are roles that fits you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's and just- And the EP's mood that day as well. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Then do you feel like you're always competing? Cause like you have to win the audition, right? Then you get the role already. Mm. Then you do the role already, right? You still have to like do the star award was like you must like get popularity votes and all oh. that. So it's like, it, it seems like it's always like competing for some recognition. Competing like against like other yeah, for actresses like, or yeah, in the industry. Which could be your friends yeah. or because they are people that you work yeah. with and then form friendships mm, with, right? Yeah. But the thing is like, I think I really form like very good friendships with a few people in the industry. And I think right. that, I, I think I'm really very lucky. Who's your best friend you can say? Uh? <sighs> yeah. I think like when <laughs> earlier, earlier- um, We check the manager. <laughs> no, I cannot. Like maybe like I cannot say who's like my worst enemy. You know? oh, <laughs> oh. My best friend okay was Natasha yeah, okay, okay. Lau, uh, Tasha, uh, and uh. then Kimberly Chia. Oh. I'm very close to them. Yeah, Fang Rong. Your same vibe yeah. also. Ying Ying, Aiden. Actually like I'm very uh, golden retriever one. Yeah. Yeah. I like- <laughs> so, so <laughs> much Let's go back to your early days, right? What is it like growing up with celebrity parents? I always followed my mother on set. And I think whenever I saw her acting, right, I just feel like, wait, oh, curly. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 <laughs> no, it's just that I really found it very intriguing. And I really wanted to also be a part of it. That's why mm. as a child, right, I went up to the director and I said like, you cast me? Wow. So then, yeah, so then they were having lunch and then he said, okay, they said something like, act as this girl trying to sell me tissue because you want to raise funds for your grandmother's like mm. medical bills or something. Mm. And then I just like, them extra, I even teared up. And then like, Whoa. uncle, you can put my tissue. Oh. He didn't cast me, la, so oh. like. <laughs> but the scam. <laughs> over, over. I didn't pass. How old were you at that point? Maybe six, seven years old. Oh, oh, really, really very young. young. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the unfair adult. That was a real audition. Do your parents train you or like your mom? Not at all eh. Because I never got casted one. Yeah. <laughs> Up no, until but- like as a teenager, then you know, somebody said like, hey, why not like you come and like have a portfolio taken for you? And then oh. I was like, sure, okay. Goodness, you know, when I went for the portfolio shoot, right? Uh. They just wanted to record a video to mm-hmm. see whether like, you know, I have the potential. What does the video <laughs> like entail? Okay, so it was so like, I didn't expect it. They say, okay, just pretend right. Like somebody you love is, like on this table and then like about to die. <gasps> and then oh, just like- then drama. Video, uh. It's not yeah. like, hi, I'm Chantel. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, huh? Okay. Mm. So I was so awkward. I'm like, ma, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I was like 16, 17 years old. Yeah, it's very jealous. Yeah. Then how, how do you- So how I did you not get cast oh. <laughs> Okay, so I think it started with Joshua Liu to see Cafe. Mm-hmm. They wanted somebody to act in the webisodes okay. as Julie's friend. And mm-hmm. then they just decided that like, okay, it's a very small role. Maybe you can come and try play law. Mm-hmm. And then I just took it up. La. But actually at that point when I went for it, it was so intimidating. Cause as a teenager, I think I was more towards like the chubbier side, right? Okay. And then when the show ended, they were all like, Wow, the netizens were so mean. Right. Yeah, I was, I was very scared. So actually after that, I didn't act for quite a long time also. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know only media court people still use the word netizen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do people say? Yeah, what, what, what do you say, say now? now? I don't know, like the comment section. The oh. oh, is it? Oh. Goodness. I feel, am I <laughs> <laughs> In another interview, you did share that in your early days also, you went for a lot of auditions and you actually filled quite a few of them. Yeah. Was there yeah. ever a point that you thought, ah yeah, maybe acting is just not for me? No eh. <laughs> oh, you always like, had the will power, like, I am meant to act. Right? I'm like, <laughs> 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 you all never laugh, right? you all never understand. I don't know, she'll right? be I'm shocked <laughs> if she's not famous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, your confidence is all crazy. Like, no la, no la. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 No, you know why or not? Because I was waiting for opportunities while I was studying. Mm-hmm. And I started, I think when I was in poly and I w- was still like taking on roles 
up until like when I was in uni. Mm-hmm. So then it's like three years plus four years. It was seven years. And even if the roles didn't come, it's fine. Cause you know, my full-time job is a student. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After graduation, I was thinking like, maybe I can explore the tech industry. Mm. So that was really but like- But you didn't even get to think about whether you wanted to join the tech industry cause one audition and one film follow another, <laughs> is it? Yeah. So actually when I was graduating, Mediacorp asked if I'll be interested for a full-time contract. Mm. Oh. And I was thinking, okay, if I really were to give acting a go, it would probably be when I'm still a bit younger. Mm. So yeah, I just decided not, to la? try for two but years. How was the package? Did it surprise you? I asked if they can match my tech pay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> so you got okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. Secret, secret. Did your mother prep you for the expectations of, of the kind of pay package to expect as an actress? Not at all. So she I just let you go in blind into everything. When, yeah, because when she first started, I think her starting pay was like what? Three, four hundred oh, or five hundred that kind right. like back in those days. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> So now it's about ten percent more. I didn't know that yeah, about it. that. <laughs> I didn't know they had like base pays. I thought it was like when you get casted, then per episode you get paid. Yeah, so thought. Oh yeah. no 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 no. So, or what yeah. if right? Let's say the role right need you to like shave your head. Then do they pay you extra? No. <laughs> Why? Your hair no, was how much? Actually, I would think it would be extra. So they would pay yeah. extra, let's say you physically, like maybe you need to be then ripped for the, the shoot, right? Then uh, let's say you have to yeah. buy Hire like a gym personal package. Trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. I thought they might pay you like, oh, here's the gym package. Oh, like, I think like maybe the production will will get the trainer for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. sponsor. Well, yeah. I don't think they want to get extra pay. I feel like you shave your head maybe. Or like a- Or like shave your beard or something. I thought it will have extra. <laughs> Like, yeah. How about new scene? The thing is the nature with like Channel 8 productions, there aren't a lot of opportunities for you to get naked. Yeah, because so it's, it's always <laughs> PG. <laughs> Not really. Ah. But recently your Q Sarah Sarah, you got do like one quite one. Oh yes, right? because that is an online series. So it's not oh. aired on Channel 8. I see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So what is scene? Tell me, tell me more. <laughs> she inside the water with like three pin. Oh yeah, yeah. Then things happen. Ah. Yeah. Do y'all, do y'all pre-talk about these scenes? Like your oh, sidebar yes. meeting a bit. For sure, for sure. Like you have to talk like with the directors, with everyone involved. Like you have to talk about how comfortable you are mm. right. and what's your limit. Like must have some consent uh, before you actually shoot yeah, the scene. for sure. And then the director will also tell you like the exact shots required and what exactly you're supposed to do. Mm. A media cop kiss scenes real now. Cause you know, last time they said they'll put the thumb, right? Then they pretend. Oh. I'm not sure whether it still happens. Uh. No, no, eh, no I think it's real. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> the time is completely new to her. <laughs> yeah, I've never I was not aware like of this to, to block. Yeah, yeah. No, oh. no, that I think about it, yeah, just like that, right? Yeah. It's a good idea. Uh, hmm. Previously, when you did the My Star Bride, yeah. then you know, you because you even had to learn the Vietnamese accent, oh, right? Yeah, then yeah. Austin Butler, the Elvis Presley oh, yeah, guy, yeah, now he can yeah. also cannot talk normal. Right? <laughs> so, and then you did mention that you also had to learn how to revert from the Vietnamese accent again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really or not? Yeah, I swear. Okay, can you recount the story for our viewers on, on what okay, you had to okay. go through to prep for the role? Normally, like one production, right? It'll be three months. So then that three months, I kept practicing practicing the accent. Okay. So then actually when it ended, I was already going into another show, but then they would still say that I still sound like the Vietnamese bride <gasps> because I'm so used to like the way I pronounce some Chinese words. Oh. Like what? Like what? For example, like I would go very high pitched because that character was like, Oh, one, one. I, I completely <laughs> cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. let's not fuck over. Let's just go back again. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's for example, certain letters like R, they were replaced yes. with L, this kind. Oh. So then, yeah. Like, can you say a sentence in, in, in like normal Ch- Singaporean Chinese and Vietnamese Chinese? Ha ha ha! <laughs> yeah, so so we were shooting like this movie, like it's a what like um a part two, okay. a continuation of the drama. Yeah. Mm. And I think like the scriptwriter was also very bad. Like she made <laughs> Shipin's character forget my character. <gasps> yeah. And I was supposed no. to be like very used to it because that scene, right, was like two years after he forgot about me. Oh, Every right. day when I wake up, I have to tell him that like, oh, you forgot about me again. It's okay, right. I'm your wife, and mm. you know, you are who who who. But when I was acting that scene, I couldn't stop crying. 
because I'm just like devastated. That that she didn't know. Oh my god! <laughs> I really like. I was so attached to like the characters. Mm. I didn't notice that I was so attached until like this cameraman he came to me while I was like crying my eyes out. He said like you have to remember to pull yourself out. And mm. I realized then, then that like, oh, sometimes it's really like subconsciously you would fall into this story mm. and you forget to come out. Yeah. Wow, oh, you better so, prepare before it. Little oh, Nonya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need yeah. to constantly Later remind you yourself. Come, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like now I'm reading the Little Nonya script, right? Uh. And when I'm driving, I'll get into character. So just you're hot. to like, just uh. know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but just to like prepare myself for that mood. Uh, and then I find myself going to such a dark place. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that one is really gonna be a challenge. What a, what an interesting uh, job has it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to be paid more for this. Thank you. you. Should, okay. you should. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. Wait, as in you mean if you win, you earn more money? No, no. I don't think. My no, understanding no. is that okay because as they do more dramas and get more and more mm. famous, then their endorsement rates and all that stuff. Yeah. Go up. So when you oh. win an award, yes. then oh. your endorsement rate got premium, lah. Yes, and I feel like if you're you're like one of the more popular artists, then the executive producers will also be more interested to cast you so that people right. watch their show. I see. So right. please vote for me, yay! Please yeah. vote for her. In the past, right, as with with regards to the like TV as the dominant media platform, right? Yeah. So if felt in the past, right, when someone's on TV, it's like, oh, that person is famous. The moment I see you on TV, yeah. he's famous already, right? Yeah. And now, because I also had the privilege of meeting you before and, and many yeah. of, of the local actors mm. and actresses, yeah. and I'm such fans of them, I know how, <laughs> um, how, how much work and hard they put into their craft. But I also know that they do get ridiculed, for example, mm. on, oh, you're, you're spending so much time uh, pursuing this career on TV yeah. when people are no longer watching traditional TV. I have like two answers to this. The first one is that like, as an actress nowadays, like you have to be more than just being in a TV. Like for example, you have to come for podcasts after what? Mm. <laughs> no, but I find, it, I find it like super exciting. Like mm. I get to go beyond the TV and I, I, I can try like a lot of different things. Like yeah. go on the radio, I come on podcasts and then like I go on the magazines and there are like a lot of different channels for you to reach out to people and mm. TikTok is something I'm struggling with. I'm really yeah. trying my best to be on that platform. Mm. But you know, like it's, it's like just- your channel, right? <laughs> Yes, please. And then please like tell me what I can do. But, so <laughs> but you know, it's always like a space where like you can always like tap on the different platforms and right. you can always continuously grow um, differently. So secondly, right, I think like for me acting, right, very luckily, I feel like I would describe as my key guy. Mm, I see. You know, mm. it is something I'm interested in. It's something that pays and it's something that the society needs, I guess. Yeah. So then- Don't be sheepish about that. We do need entertainment and <laughs> yeah, content. Yeah, right, right. Mm. And, and I just feel like, of course, like there are parts of my career that, you know, I don't really enjoy. There are parts where I really like it. But you know, when I look at it as a whole, I just feel like this is something that gives me joy. Mm. And when I have a very good day, I feel like this is really worth it. Wow. Do you think that Mediacorp is in a sense trying to break out of the boundaries, right? Where they have to be very family friendly. And then mm. like, how do you feel that Mediacorp is changing in that aspect? Okay, so like based on my understanding, right? I feel like we're really trying to produce shows that can reach out to like everyone in Singapore mm. because we are a national broadcasting station, you know? So then like, other than like trying the new kinds of like dramas that are very over the top and then like very like on the edge, I feel like we also have to think about the young kids and the old yeah. people who you are, are watching our values show. For younger people yes, as well. right. Yes. So I feel like while we're trying to expand beyond like our usual um stories, like we're also understanding that that's something that's crucial to mm -hmm. to us. Like it's important that we continue to do that because mm -hmm. then I I don't think like you'll be able to consume like such safe content anywhere else. Yeah, I right. agree though. I feel like media yeah. Corp, they really tune it up already, but it's just a lot of people have left TV and yeah. not like, giving them a chance anymore. Yes, and yeah. I and I feel like, you know, since I'm here and I'm sure like a lot of people are watching this show, like really maybe try to like go onto me watch and mm. pick like something that you feel you What's might- What's your recommended one? Okay, I think um I would recommend Sing Sa Ta Tao. It's the one where I got nominated for Best Actress. I see. Yeah. The English All, All the glitters. glitters. Okay. And also like, it's the same script writer as Little Nyonya. Oh! oh. Slay. So 
actually like it's very nice. Yay. Okay, okay. <laughs> so to close, right, what are some exciting things you have planned for the rest of 2024? I am actually involved in this show called Hope Buffalo Yu Shui Chong Sheng mm. and it's going to air somewhere in July. It's actually inspired by our Paralympian Yip Pin Show. Ooh, shout out. Yeah. And the show is going to air at the same time as the Paris Paralympics. In July. In July. Wow. Yeah. So please watch out for that and also please watch Star Awards in April. And vote for her. And vote for her if you haven't. Yes. And I'm also very excited to come back for more podcasts. Okay. 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 Yay. Okay, so we've come to the end of this very fun episode, actually. Thank you for watching. And of course, thank you, Chantel, for joining us today. Yay. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Vote for her down here in the link. Vote The music means no more talking. Yeah. Oh. Uh, cause <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you recommend one show that is not one of your shows, ah. what would you oh. recommend? Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she only watched her own. <laughs> Um, I think I think it will be very nice and a very good time to um, watch Xiao Niang Re because it's been okay. 15 years, right? And then we're going to have part two. So just watch part one first. That's <laughs> a then, damn good answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 you got to do Xiao a recent Niang show. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, recent. In the past oh. five years, Kai. Oh. oh, in the past five years. Sorry, Xiao Niang Re is 15 years old. Ah. Mm -hmm. How yeah. can it be? Wow, damn yeah. I remember I was scared. Got one scene, you Was know, it by scene? my mother? No, the... The Joanne Pei. Ah. Oh, I can't. Yeah. That one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Broke my heart. Yeah, yeah. okay. If you don't know what you're talking, we're talking about, yeah, go, go watch it. Watch. <laughs> it's on YouTube as well. Mm. Media Cop mm. Channel TV. <laughs> 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 click on the link here. <laughs> click on the link here. <laughs> you can also click to vote. <laughs> <laughs>